In this video we are going to talk about some uh, trees and we are going to talk about the tree amateurs from Woodland Scenics and how you can use them and the benefits of these trees. Uh... Role playing games, crafting, 3D printing and other games. Compared to other brands maybe or making your own. Uh, so first of all when you buy this uh, they come in this type of package. It's a flat ba bag that you can open. And the trees, um, uh, this is the size measurements on the bag I have, but there are different sizes, smaller and larger as well. Uh, so it can go a bit good to you know that. They come like this. The trees is flat entirely and have a base that you can use. And depending uh, on how you how you want to build this, you can either use this little pin and just poke it in in what you are building if you're using like uh, express foam or something, uh, or you can use the base uh, in the trees here in the background. I have used the base, and what the good thing is about uh, uh, this product is it, it's not flat when you start because you can bend it. Uh, so you can bend all the branches very easily. So uh, even if you have the same uh, group structure to begin with, you can start to build shapes. You can different shapes. Uh, very very easy. So and the, you see, I can bend this, and then I can bend this, and I can even twist a little bit if I want to. Uh, and it holds together perfectly fine. It's not flimsy, just a little bit, but it's not like this is kind of hard, but easily to get bent. So I think I found a very good uh, balance between the two, so you can work with this product as you want. Uh, here I have an example of a tree glued to the base. And just primed and uh, bent in the direction I want. So, when I worked with this, uh, I painted obviously, I painted trees, but I use uh, other products from Woodland Scenics that is their Hobbit e tech adhesive. And this glue is, I mean, you put it on and you want it to become transparent, and it takes a while because different how much you use, but. I will not make an entire tree in this video, but I will show the basic. You have this like brush in this lid, so you just brush on the surface uh, on the tree. You want to, to attach uh, the foliage on. Uh, and for this, I have used uh, they have wouldn't see have different products for this, uh, and I used their bushes in, in medium green. That's what you see in this video. Uh, and uh, afterwards, I have uh, uh, just sprayed it down with watered down PVA glue and also some uh, varnish uh, to make it a little bit more sturdy. It doesn't uh, soak up very well uh, with the varnish, so still kind of is. They are a little bit hard, uh, but not as much. They because they are so uh, fluffy. Uh, but one thing that I love about these trees, you can still bend them. I painted and I, the trees is ready to go, but you can still bend them. And this <laughs> glue, this, the Hobbit attack glue, it's still sticky. I made these trees weeks ago and they are still sticky. So some of the brushes can fall off and you have to stick it back and so but it's not a big problem overall and you get this nice feeling of uh, you see how the light can shine through and I in this tree I put it so that it would be a lot of brushes but you can know the light stuff uh, and the easy part to do this uh, is when you have just Take a surface and, and just pour this up. And when you have attached the uh, uh, tacky glue, that's why this product is good. It's just you, you just do like this and all everything gets attached to it. 
I have not uh, have any trees that are already painted, so I will not show this in this video. Leave a comment down if you want to see that as well in another video in the future. But because you can bend the branches after the product is go, you can use this to your advantage, like with this tree. This tree, I put them on cliffs. So you can take this tree, put it on a cliff side here, and you see it will fall because of gravity. It's not no hard thing there. But I can take the tree and I can start to work with the branches. So I change the point of the gravity. And then I can put it on a hillside. With some, of course you cannot do this at extreme angles, but at some angles you can do this. Um, as you see, uh, uh, the branches are fine. Uh, I use kind of small trees here and I want to see my miniatures and I just want to have the feeling of a forest but still have the, uh, not to have a massive forest to store. Yeah. But with just a couple of few trees you can make the feeling of a forest like this. But what I like also in this product is I have made these trees with them. And these trees, uh, the, the, the main part in here, uh, you see, is a thicker, and that is actually from an old game called Weapon and Warriors. And just that tree is just flat. Uh, uh, they have it doesn't have any branches sticking out on the side. So what I have to do here is I have used green stuff and glue and attach smaller trees, uh, amateurs and movement scenes to this one. Then painted it up, used the hot tack glue. This tree. I have not uh, used varnish or uh, any uh, PVA glue yet, so you can see it's nice and fluffy still and some part falls. You can then go in and squeeze it to make it attach, but then you doesn't get as much air flow and light shining through, so that's a preference, but you can see just the beauty of it. And this of course shine a little bit more because I have not used the varnish yet. Uh, I will just use some matte varnishes to get the fruit to shine. But also, uh, since this tacky glue is still tacky, it can shine through. So if you see spots where the tacky glue is still left, just take some of this stuff, bushes material, and push it back on. And let's see the focus here. I doesn't want to find my thing. Yeah, you know what it looks like. This. This stuff. So, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, sir. Nice day, everyone.